do it again in a heartbeat and immerse yourself in everything, take every opportunity. Um, yeah, don't, don't miss out. I think we did a good job of doing that, but don't hesitate for any opportunity because it's incredible. Well, personally, that was the first time I had left the country besides Canada. So it was my first time in Europe and I fell in love. So I've come back to Italy several times, including now. Um, professionally, I think it exposed me to so many different ideas, so much history in architecture that, you know, seeing it in person was so different for me. I grew up in the Midwest. I lived in New England and, you know, the oldest buildings were 100 years old, 200 years old. So it really exposed me to understanding the principles of what we were learning in a book. And, and yeah, I take that with me. And, and actually now a lot of the clients and designers I work with are Italian or French. Or, so it's, it's kind of given me that appreciation. Yeah. Well, I think there's nothing like uh, a lot of these buildings in terms of how they were used and then how they've been adapted um, for new use. So this was, what's originally was a home and, and now is a university and other things were markets and now are apartments. Um, adaptive reuse in the States is, I think, very much behind. And so it gave an appreciation of how you can rethink and, and reuse spaces and materials, um, but also just kind of understanding how different cultures work and teaches you something different problem solving that you then put into architecture. I would say do it because this opportunity will only come once or twice in a lifetime. Do it when you're young and when you have the energy and the open-mindedness. Um, it's so important. And when you're here, don't stay in the apartment. You know, don't only talk to Americans. Don't only go to American bars. Um, get vulnerable. Practice. Make a fool of yourself speaking Italian. Franco saw me do it. Um, but just try everything because life is too short and there's so much to learn. I love it. And, and hopefully you, you gain a love for travel after that. There's really nothing to be afraid of. I mean, be smart. Don't give people your passwords or, but um, try it. I think, get out there and try it. There's really nothing to be afraid of. Um, one of the favorite things was we uh, had four or five different apartments we were in and we would do family dinners at least once a week. So we would host and someone else would host and we were all broke. Um, so the meals were simple, but we would cook together and laugh together and someone would play guitar and it just was really, really special. So that was a lot of fun. And then we would do weekend trips, um, sometimes with a uh, studio or sometimes on our own. And uh, it was fun to kind of see each other figure it out and fumble and uh, just explore. It was really incredible. And then the food, all of the food is just awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, as I said, I've come back to Italy quite a few times, to Florence a few times. Um, I think it would be great to give alumni the opportunity to come not only here, but maybe interact with the students, uh, particularly in architecture, maybe guest crits. Um, but yeah, welcome them back and um, encourage them to come. And if there were things like travel or um, some other interactive recreation, I think People would enjoy it because it's such a nostalgia. Right now we're in town and several friends who studied with me and other grades are here. And um, it's been really cool to share memories and walk the streets again and oh, we ate there and we used to go there. So um, I think it's something to do and it also broadens the, the voice, especially now there's so much social media. Um, so it helps get the word out.